Well, what's our favorite topic? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll start with one. There are no irrigation ditches in Chaco Canyon. None. Zero. Nil. Nothing. Nothing that even looks like an irrigation ditch. So, now that I've said that, I've said it. But it's important. I mean, because we've been living with this lie for, God, I don't know, 40, 60 years, over 60 years. And it's, well, I don't know, I don't know, I can't think, say anything. And anything I say beyond that is going to be uh, uh, mean. Ad hominem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. I can't even begin to tell you how that happened. So, but it's still, it's, it's still a going concern in Chaco archaeology. I've been here since 1972 and I've never seen one and I've walked the entire, I mean, I can say I surveyed the canyon and I've never seen one. So, uh, so there. It's amazing. I mean, that's the thing about Chaco is it is a big mystery. How does this stuff, how does this happen? <laughs> um, these are supposedly intelligent people paying big money for degrees. And, uh, and now they're all broke and having, <laughs> having to pay back their debts. And it's like, God, man, no, oh, never mind. It, it's just, it's just, strikes me as incredibly strange that these things can persist. And, and is it still mainstream thinking? Yeah. This day? Yeah. We don't have any empirical evidence whatsoever. There was a, an attempt to try to convince us that the old road to Farmington was a ditch, which is now called Vivian's Ditch. Uh, but, you know, it's, it was like this, and if you follow it out, it goes to Farmington. So, um, and that actually has a signature, but it's not a ditch. It's a historic road. Yeah, and, and if it was a ditch, it would carry so much water, it would flood the fields and take them out. Yeah, you always say, right, if there were that much water running down there, you, you had a problem. Right, yeah, the... What work that Larry did, he, yes. he said, if you actually had an irrigation system. Sorry, excuse me, Larry Benson. Larry Benson. If you, he worked out a hydraulic model of what, what you'd have to have to flood so many acres down here, how much water you'd have to collect, and what you'd have to have to collect it, or uh, how'd you, how to move it. And uh, we would have a, a major engineering project, which would almost certainly be you know especially with lidar should pop right out but do we have that no no there's no evidence for it whatsoever and uh, so and that's what same with the lake down near pinasco blanco what good is the lake at near pinasco blanco going to do you i mean it's it's downstream might have some uh Cosmological significance as a right, yeah. sandy, watery place. Sandy, watery place full of toads. That's my recent thinking. Yeah. That. No, it could be really, it could be really important, but not for agriculture. So well, it couldn't how... be a lake because there couldn't be a dam. Yeah, right. <laughs> the sand dam, it wouldn't hold water. So. So what about um. You guys want to, speaking of canals, say something about canals at Mesa Verde? Well, it's a similar problem. All the things that have been called canals are actually roads. So I know. We've lived with that for a long time. I think the only agricultural features we actually have at Mesa Verde that I know about is the check dams, which I build in my yard. I mean, that's not a... It's not a, it's just not a, it's not a winning subsistence strategy. So, so we don't have canals in Mesa Verde either, isn't um, God, I don't know, it's just, it's such a weird thing. How do you talk about it? It's like, 
the elephant. I don't know whether it's the emperor's new clothes or the, it's sort of like the elephant with no clothes in the living room. With the uh, blind men. <laughs> That's the title of the film. <laughs> <laughs> With no clothes in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> and we're the blind man. <laughs> <laughs> we're the blind man. Yeah. Three blind eyes. Ah, I don't know, man. I we have to live with this stuff, you know, and it's not easy. I mean, you you get a choco paper comes out and it tells you the old road to Farmington is a is a. Uh, is an irrigation ditch, and, and uh, I don't know, it disturbs you. It, 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 you feel like you've been in this weird room down here for a while, you know? Your reality starts to waver. Yeah, it's really strange. And it happens, that's not, that's just the beginning in the Chaco business. It's like, holy mackerel, can't keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, so, I don't know, and anything you say about it, well, okay, so I'll be mean. So we went, through, you know, when Judd trenched the, the West Plaza in Pueblo Bonito, he came up with a root ball and a stump of a big pine tree. And he speculated that, uh, that it was grown there. And that, so we speculated that if Judd was correct and it was grown there, I, th I forget what the dates on this thing was. I don't. Do you remember that? It Age sixty four, I think. Yeah, it was. It it went back a, back quite a ways, and then I think the the end dates were well within our Bonito period. So it was, you know, it was uh, plausible that it had grown there. So we, so we took that and I said, well, you know, this is probably a world tree. They have them in Pueblos. I mean, I mean, this is nothing new. I mean, the world tree is all over the world. Goes way back, thousands and thousands of years. So we speculated that it might have been a gnomon that was calibrating, that they were used to, you know, if, if we got these cardinal directions, they could have determined north by using that as a gnomon, or for something else. But, but we were we were taken to task for that judgment by a group that demonstrated that that stump had come from the Chuskas, which it had, I'm sure, which makes it even more probable that it was used as a, as a ritual, that it was important. And, and we, were, we were literally chided in this paper because it was probably just firewood or a bench. And that's, that's sort of the level of, that's sort of what we're working with. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. This is, I mean, you can go anywhere in the world and find this, and it would be a world tree. There would be, it would be significant. It would be connecting the heavens with the, with the present and with the past and the below and all of the symbolism that, I mean, it's heavy with symbolism. And uh, might have been a bench, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, that's what, we, that's what we're up against in Chaco. And I, I'm sorry that I had to say that, but, but the problem is, is that if I was, if I, under certain, many circumstances, if I was an academic and I was insane, and the grad student wanted to make sure that I was going to sign off on his uh, on his uh, dissertation, and then subsequently write him uh, glowing uh, recommendations, and then give him support for funding. Uh, then couldn't say that. Couldn't say it. Yeah, he'd have to live the lie until he died. <laughs> so. Uh, but the, in the meantime, all of us have to live the damn lie too, you know? And it just gets weirder and weirder every day. And uh, so, 
anyway, yeah. Shouldn't turn me loose on my own recognizance here. <laughs> ontology, ontology. <laughs> ontology, ontology, yeah. Code word, code word. Yeah.